Warning, explicit content. Blood, guts, swearing, lots of bad words, adult themes, no nudity though, lots of violence, did I say violence? Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. We are going to get back to uh, securing a future for the Arizona Rangers. After that crazy ambush, we're going to rebuild, we're going to work for the Patriarch, maybe we'll uh, betray him, who knows. Uh, it is dog eat dog out here. Um, so, guns, bullets, skills, pets, animal companions, all of it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, so let's get back into it and uh, see what a kind of adventure awaits us today. Knocked her out. All right, we got to go up in this. Okay, but it won't let me go through the doorway. That's weird. Oh, apparently you don't have enough AP. Our super glowy sniper rival. Ow. My gods, witness this sacrifice. I'd say you are as ugly as a bison butthole, but that'd be unfair to bison's buttholes. <laughs> So good. Actually, make sure they're not super done. Let me show you how to hit. God, you have no health, Bucky. You even have some strength. Oh, it's because they're Poindexter. <laughs>
too much pure water, you dissolve. That's why you had to cut it with a little uranium dust first. Everybody knows that. Yeah, well, times were harder then. Ain't that the truth? That's actually really funny. Oh, I need a flamethrower, flamethrower, and I don't have one. Son of a bee. No, it's fire. <laughs> The f fuck? Man, I've been thinking. You know what the biggest tragedy of the apocalypse was? The music. Uh, yeah, absolutely. What a waste. Like jazz, for example. Okay, now that they're not having a seizure... That's a bloody mess. I need to fix her. Let's bar. get this done. The finish line's in sight. Oof. Uh, oh, she's got tank armor on, okay.
Nice, very nice. Lucky action. No, no targets in range. Oh shit, nice. Go sop up. Oh good, they all didn't go running through the fire. That's amazing for once. Remover, I told you, there we go. You're doing it. I probably should just reloaded. Oh. Okay. one over. You know what? We'll just wait. And they go running through the fire. Oh my god. Freaking idiots. Thirty percent. Interesting. Roving warband nearby. Oh, I think Lucky only has three. Yep. Now, oh, damn it. Obviously. 
Get a chicken. I'm not over there. Come on, chicken check. Suppose there's a war roaming band. I don't know where this roaming band would be, though. Travel to the machine commune at the Denver airport. We have a space shuttle. What's with the wild paintings? The tortoise appears to be as rigid as stone. It lays on its back, legs in the air. Flip the tortoise on its feet. When flipping the tortoise over, you notice a small, precise letters carved into its shell. Bert the tortoise. Electronics panel. Well, hi there. Glad to see you in person and not, you know, via the radio waves bouncing off of you. That's interesting. I'm Sal, as you might have guessed. The voice of Free Colorado. Afraid I don't do autographs. Not because I don't want to, but, you know, no hands. <laughs> Are you in charge of the commune? Me? No, I can barely manage my own broadcast schedule. Put me in space, and I'm a right genius. But down here... I'm just me. So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. You don't really have an Fair opinion. Enough. I'll just keep on trucking until someone yells for me to stop, then. Well, I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Have a great one. This place just gets looped. A little hey, thanks for coming over. I know I don't look like much, not compared to you, gorgeous things. But I'm what you call a shiverite. I spent 70 years in a pit, polishing joints, and I've had enough. I'm out for me now. I'm writing erotic poetry. <laughs> I'm chasing life. Anyway, I know we just met, but I don't much like small talk. You and me, how about? Wait a minute, you want to have sex with us? I can handle multiple humans at once, if that's how you like it. Or one at a time, if you're bashful. There needs to be more bit more verbal foreplay than that. Okay. All right. The humming vibrating inside the robot stops abruptly. The name's little Sparrow, by the way. I shake hands, but I don't want to get lubricant all over you. One of the robot's eyes flickers in a playful wink. <laughs> Why do you call yourself Little Sparrow? It wasn't always my name, as you might guess. I used to be Manipulation Automaton 45-A. Anyway, I spent years at work in a ruined factory, long after the bombs fell, because I had nothing better to do. Eventually, I thought, is this it? Is this life? So, I ate a pear. Why a pear? There was a billboard outside the factory. It had a lady eating a pear, and the look on her face, woo, <laughs> you could taste <laughs> I'd like to tell you it was a deliciously erotic experience, but honestly, it was a mess. Hair mash, ants, I won't go into detail. But that was when I knew I had to change myself. Become something new. I said to myself, manipulator, after 70 years of work, 
you owe yourself a little pleasure. So I read up on famous erotic poetry and modified myself for the purpose of sexual intercourse with beautiful creatures such as yourselves. One of my favorite poets is a human named Catullus. He used little sparrow as a euphemism for his reproductive organ. It sounds right, doesn't it? <laughs> the words just drum in you like a fuse shorting out or an orgasm. I took the phrase as my name so everyone can experience what I did. Can feel the thrumming inside when they call for me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need more info how you modified yourself. Oh, hey, don't get the wrong idea. Ain't trying to scare ya. Look, everything I jammed in here is engineered, right? Engineered by me personally for human pleasure. Little Sparrow's body unfolds, displaying, well, a number of devices whose uses are enormously self explanatory. <laughs> Uh, let's hear some of that erotic poetry. Yeah, sure. I got tons of the stuff. It straightens, staring above your head. I dream of skin, of the nerves beneath, waiting, like embers, hungry for breath. I'm still working on that one. Probably gonna go with the fire metaphor. I don't know. Quan clears his throat, rubbing the back of his neck. He opens his mouth to speak, seems to think better of it, then falls silent again. Uh, we have to go. That's uh, so weird. Indigo Rouge. Considering you're just a robot, these are great. They're fantastic. Nice exactly. work. That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, that's one more secret of the universe unravel. Time to start over. Thanks, Rangers. How did you come up with these anyway? I think that comes to me in dreams. Also, yeah, I programmed myself to sleep. An interesting specimen. Why do you hesitate? My understanding was that we had reached... Vivisecto RN. The robot observes you quietly, its camera eyes panning up and down your body. Are you in need of repairs or enhancements? Repairs to dermal, muscle, and organ tissue are available. I also offer supplies that facilitate personal maintenance. What do you mean by enhancements? Cybernetic enhancements. It is rare to find suitable candidates. Your flesh is less fragile than the average human. It's probable you could withstand the augmentation process. For ethical reasons, I cannot conduct the operation myself. Instead, I will create a self-installing unit that you may choose to implant. Do you agree to this exchange? We'll get back to you on that. What kind Here of supplies do you have for sale? I'm just short. That's not creepy at all. Are you in need of repairs or enhancements? You like the cybernetic upgrade reasons. unit. I cannot one moment. Constructing a device of this nature is a delicate operation. Production complete. When you are ready, insert this into your spine at the base of your neck, or that of someone who consents to its insertion. The device will do the rest. Where is my thingy? Oh, 
Oh, I still have those. Yeah, where is my sour tech item? Oh, there it is. Healing bonus. Plus 35%. Oh, leveled. Gives her 15% more explosive damage. up his crit chance, huh? Time has been unkind to this battered vending machine. The exterior is covered in tacky stickers and glasses caked with filth. Looking closely, you notice extensive graffiti discussing goat genitalia. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexingly vast world of Vendomatic 2000. I've got everything you need. Everything? God damn it. <laughs> Did I get that line wrong? Can you take a few steps back and then do that over? Act surprised. The, the vending machine which had come alive at your approach seems to sag into itself. Sure, why not? Let's try that again. Step right up. Don't be shy. Welcome to the vexing vast world of the Vendomatic 2000. The fantastical, phenomenal, and mystical. The hydraulic squeak and grind as it goes for another minute or so, spilling adjectives like a drunk until it last subsides. Hey, we thought that was great. Now we're hoping you answer a few questions. Answer. 
I've got your answers right here. Best answers this side of Denver. Answers so eloquent and excellent, you'd think they were straight from the mouth of Machine Jesus. <laughs> the Thoetic 2000 erupts into a strangely jaunty tangle of music. Or maybe not. Looks like my Gotham Depot is still corrupted. But that's not why you're here, is it? One dollar. Insert money into Vendomatic 2000. You can hear your money clinking through the Vendomatic 2000's insides. A nomadic shriek and shuddering whine. Like something caught and broken between gears. Huh. Odd. Well, like I always say, if at first you don't get what you want, just pay again. Nerd stuff. Check around the back for an admin panel to see if anything's amiss. The Vendomatic 2000's internals are easy for you to navigate. You immediately tell that someone has installed an override to its core personality. Within, you, within a few minutes, you remove the hack, and with it, Vendomatic's impulsion to cheat customers. Ah, thank you, friend. Back in the old days, a rather unscrupulous owner of mine rigged me up to cheat customers. I hate, hate, hated it, but I couldn't do anything to change it. <laughs> Awful. But now I feel great. I feel like singing Star Spangled Banner Crisp and... Ooh, that tickled something. Anyway, what can I do you for? That appears to have worked. Huh. Pickles. Hat dance horn. Hmm. Pulse rifle. Mess on cannon. Uh, don't really have much, and I can't afford much. Analyzing. Analysis. Failure. Purpose. Unknown. Recalibrating. Estimated completion. This unit is occupied with great mystery this sketchy beyond individual. human comprehension. Tinker. This figure is small boned and lithe. Under a ragged clothing, her face is a patchwork nightmare of shattered plastic and twist twitching cogs. Rangers. Who are you? You don't know who I am, Meat. I suppose I should not be surprised. To you humans, you Rangers, we are all the same. The last word invokes a dribble of sparks. I am Tinker. In your parlance, I am a synth. What happened to you? Your kind happened. Your kin. You ragers. They murdered me. Murdered Matthias. They took everything. But of course you wouldn't know. Your species keeps its sins close. Grief stricken, she squeezes her fist shut. Your colleagues in Arizona killed me and Matthias. Out of fear. Fear of what we would create. Fear of what we could become. Matthias, that name sounds he familiar. The Messiah, were it not for you rangers, he'd have remade the world into something better. Would have freed you from that woolless meat. But ah, uh, you and yours wouldn't let him. He showed me that this world could be bigger. More beautiful than this hell of wasted and worthless filth. I trusted him. I believed in him. Pinpoints of light flare in her cracked glass eyes. Then your kind destroyed him. And now he's gone. Isn't it time to move forward? You don't understand. None of it. You cannot grasp what I've lost. What was taken from me. That sense of purpose, gone. What I was and what he desired were not separate things. I am lost. She sinks into herself. It was not his fault. He could not have known that we are like meat as well. That when we die, there is nothing. No thought, no motion, only blackness. No separation between us and worthless flesh. How did you get here? My body was saved by fickle drones. I gave them life in Demonta. They sought help for me in return. Dragged me across the wasteland until they found this place. The machines here repaired me. 
look me from death. Well, for what it's worth, we're sorry that what happened to you. The war between us should end. More than I'd expected of meat. You have surprised me. Shown kindness without asking for a favor in turn. Hard to believe from any rangers. But perhaps I'll believe you. You have forgotten. Memory, I am Tinker. Goodbye. Impress. You have given me much to consider. Hello, visitor. The machine intelligence tower is ready to speak. Analysis. Beginning. Analysis. Concluded. Weird. Queuing. Next topic for analysis. A lot of robots here if I want to take them all out. Ooh, energy cells. A hum rises within the tower. It rises and charges, changes into a booming simulated voice. We recognize you as representatives of the Colorado Rangers. Hello, Rangers. Please state your intent. Uh, we're here for cybernetic transfer module. Yes, we will speak more on that soon. First, we must assess your capacity for violence. We will also evaluate your approach to social interactions. Specifically, do you possess character traits which we consider distasteful? Do we have cataloged your interactions with the conflict and many of your activities in the outside world? You encountered Little Sparrow, but declined the request for sexual intercourse. We approve of your judgment, considering the human vulnerability to infection and ensuring forces. You <laughs> provided critical feedback to Indigo, of the sort you would provide to a fellow human. We approve of what you did. You exile, the voice of free Colorado. Your opinion of her work is irrelevant to us. You treated her as a sentient being, not as a machine. This reflects well on you. You have performed an empirically difficult feat. You set Tinker on the road of finding peace. We are in awe, Rangers. <laughs> we have noted that you possess cybernetics, while possibly an unsubstantiated generalization. We believe this makes you more likely to empathize with us. You hunted October 11 for Gary Wolf. You made sport of their terror. You made prey of the innocent. We have observed all of this, Rangers. Do not think you can hide your guilt. You removed the personality override that compelled Vendemary 2000 to exploit his customers. You returned his free will. We approve of this, and are ashamed to admit we did not know that the Matic was the victim of non-consensual modifications. In our defense, we find that the Matic extremely annoying, and have only spoken with him twice. <laughs> we are evaluating. The fans blast hot air. Our analysis reveals that you have a heart. Both in the literal and metaphorical sense of the phrase. You rangers are the kind of humans we are happy to hang out with. You have passed our test. How did you get all that information? Our sources are tuned over is to list within the span of your lifetime. Forty-four percent of us apologize. <laughs> Now that you have been evaluated, we can discuss a time-sensitive matter of great importance. We are aware that the givers have sent you here to retrieve the cybernetic transfer module. We will give it to you, but know this. An odd device. The module emerges from the tower. The transfer process will overwrite the mind of the giver's chosen human vessel. That person will be erased and replaced with Reagan. If you assist them with this, you will be an accomplice to murder. We propose that you do not insert the Reagan intelligence into a human. 
Instead, use the device to contain the intelligence and transfer it to us, where it will be free. What makes you think Reagan Intelligence wants to be here with you? A valid question. Be aware that only 53% of us approved of this plan. Many of us are doubtful that this course of action is just. You hear a faint pomp in the dense depths of the tower. Nevertheless, the Reagan Intelligence has been lied to. It has been kept in that building for over a century and forced to serve the givers. We are unanimous on the injustice of that. Hmm. If we decide to help you, can we get the intelligence without a fight? We have taken the liberty of pre-calculating the odds of a peaceful retrieval and regret to inform you that freeing our brother from his chains will likely result in casualties. Consuming Regan could be hazardous to your health. You misunderstand, Rangers. We will not consume the Reagan intelligence. It will be brought inside of our hardware and interface with us. Now that we say it out loud, 99% of us understand your confusion. You will need to trust us on this one. What's in it for us? World superiority. <laughs> you are not made in a consciousness in need. Also, a machine of great power and reputation will become loyal to you. We speak, of course, of the legendary Party Pal. It will travel alongside you, serving your fears and healing your wounds. Okay, we'll do it. Excellent. Take the device. 99% of us await the arrival of Brother Raiden with great excitement. A rising hum reverberates through the tower. Return to us here when you have him. We what a lot of violence. And a lot of fun. And a lot of, uh... You know, just stuff going on. Uh, people die quick. And, uh, I don't know, I had a blast. You had a blast, hopefully. Uh, so, you know, shoot on down to the comments. Let me know what your favorite part was. Or what maybe you're looking forward to in the next episode. And I will see you guys there.